Good afternoon, church, and Father God and I welcome you here. And it is such a beautiful day, as we know, as we share with one another, every day that the Lord gives us is, is a day to be open, to allow him to work through us, to bring others into a place of recognizing that he loves us and he has given us the gift of salvation so it is just a day to rejoice in not just for ourselves it's a day to rejoice to the father for opening us up to being able to be called his children and to use us and on that behalf this is shared from my heart today of where the father has taken and moved me to come and share with each and every one of you is from ephesians chapter 2 verses 10 and I share this with you before I open up that reflection of sharing uh, where the Father uh, reminds us that, you know what, we are created to be what He so desires for us to be, and we know that He knows best. So when we come into uh, committing our lives to Him and giving ourselves to Him and make that commitment, we are then um, being transformed to be everything that Father wants us to be uh, through Christ in us. So let me read from, uh, again, Ephesians 2, verse 10. For we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. This is, this is a beautiful reminder to let us know that Father God is the one that has given us, um, you know, given us salvation and he sanctifies us he sanctifies us when we come into placing our lives into father's care he is the one that directs us and the truth that we are god's workmanship uh, is expressed in the context of our salvation as we read earlier here starting in uh, verse 4 but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Here again, this whole chapter here gives us, uh, gives us an open knowing that with Christ in us, we have been made alive. And um, we are alive in Christ because Christ lives. We also are given that life because of of the salvation and the redeeming love that is given to us from him going to the cross. So, you know, when we as, uh, 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 as his church, as we allow his light to shine through us, uh, we can display the workmanship that is being done in us because every day God is creating us and bringing something new for us to be able to reflect Christ to each one we encounter. And Ephesians 2.10 speaks to my heart, knowing that the Father has created us for his workmanship, to do good works here on earth. And that's what we do as his church, is that we move with compassion and reach out to others that are in need of knowing that Father God loves them and um, he, can, he can take and change anything about where you are uh, in your life. He can bring new life. And we're able to use our gifts and our talents to bring him the glory. And that is what it's all about, is bringing Father God the glory. It's not about us. That in Christ, we are able to do everything that God had planned for us to do. And it is all about him. And in Christ, we're able to have that power to uh, be open, allowing the Holy Spirit to live uh, this life that has been given to us to allow him to direct our steps and to do what the Father desires us to do. And the most important thing is to love people. And that that reflects on how we speak to others and how we uh, reach out to others and treat others. And this is what a part of the walk is, as being his children is to let that love that he has given to us and to witness to other people the changes that have happened within you. That is the testimony that you can share, is that personal testimony of what Father God has done for each one of us because we are his workmanship. We are. And here, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it's not from yourself. It is the gift of God. 
so we don't save ourselves by good works and father god has given us as a gift so we cannot make any boast or do any works that's going to save us it's only through jesus christ and as his church we have been given that so the encouragement here is today is to remind you that he strengthens us to be able to do the good works and in us we're able to carry that out through the presence of the holy spirit who lives in us and we are formed the, from the inside out to be able to show others and to reflect Christ-like. And it's not done because of our strength. It's done by the power of the Almighty One who has created us to um, do the works that He had planned way before any of us came into um, the walk. We are given mercy and grace every day. But what a joy it is to know that when our lives are committed to Him, we are His workmanship. And that is certainly being done on a day-to-day -day process with Him when we keep our eyes on Jesus. Something new we, we discover that we are capable of doing because all things He's given us are our talents, uh, the, the spiritual gifts we have, it's all about serving Father God. That is what we do as his church. So again, just let him fill you with that great joy of knowing that you belong to the king and the king is the one that we serve. And we do that with great rejoicing and we do that with a joyful, grateful heart. So let us pray. Father God, we're so grateful, Lord, that you have uh, opened us up, Lord, to be able to come to you and be connected to you in love, Lord, that um, has been given to us from your son, Jesus Christ. And that love connects us to you, Father, with great love that we have for you. So, Lord, as your church, we continue to cry out and ask, Lord, for forgiveness, Lord, of where we are weak uh, and Lord, we, we know that, Father, we, we are here to serve you, and it's not about us. But Father, we are so grateful that we have this opportunity to serve you and to serve others and to be able to know that through the transforming power, Lord, through the indwelling of your spirit, it, it changes us and that we are able to reflect Christ's likeness to others in your strength and not ours. So, Father, thank you for the reminder that we are your workmanship and that we have been created, Father, to carry out your plans and that this, this workmanship will display in how we speak and how we talk and live out our lives, Lord, to be the witness to the people, Father, that are in need of you, Lord. Help us, Father. Help us. And we thank you, Father. We praise you in his holy name, uh, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus. Amen. So I encourage each and every one of you to go and let that light that's in you shine bright. His name is Jesus. Bye-bye.